hey there my dudes I hope everyone's doing well today and welcome back to another video oh boy <laughs> is this really weird because I hadn't planned on doing a traditional setup in the longest time but today is a different type of video now to get all of this out of the way um, I am working uh, on doing something with a subscription box, but I am in no way in any form sponsored by them. So <laughs> Yeah, I mean they want to hit me up with my at the moment 26 subscribers. Mm, I know impressive <laughs> But yeah, um, I have a really big love for books and doing art content um, I didn't really think there was a way to incorporate my love for books in you know my art videos. That was until I recently got my uh, newest box from this subscription box and I got hit with one heck of an idea. So let's get these colors out of the way because they're going to be for the project but you know we don't need to focus on that right now. Bam! It's freaking book of the month. Now like I said not sponsored and in fact since I'm not sponsored in any way by this or shape or form by this box um, I can say some negative stuff about it but first I gotta show you what inspired this idea oh my god just looking at it makes me happy it's my newest book from my box eh. as you can see the sound of stars uh, by uh, I'm not gonna try and pronounce the name Alessia Dow <laughs> I'm so sorry I, uh, I know what it's like to get your name mispronounced, but eh, I'm not so good at pronouncing them myself. Anyways, this is what inspired me to uh, do a drawing based on it. Now, one of the negatives of Book of the Month is that um, if you forget to skip a month, they take the money anyway. <laughs> so I forgot to skip a month. They took my money. I emailed them to see if I could get the money back because I had forgotten and they just sent an email saying, oh, well, you know, <laughs> this is, uh, we take money for credits if you don't make it a, a choice by a certain amount of time. And I was just like, okay, whatever, fine, take my money. And this is not cheap either, okay? Because uh, these are like new releases um, that they come out with every month. So this was $16.28, which, oh, my bank account. Oh, God. <laughs> Just thinking about it. And I was really salty at first. So <laughs> uh, I was thinking about canceling it. But, you know, another negative of the box is that if you go to cancel your subscription box, you actually have to call. And um, I'm a very anxious person. I hate making phone calls with passion. And it was bothering me that I wanted to cancel the box, but I had to make a phone call. So uh, several months went by and I decided, you know what? I still have a credit. It's my birthday month. Why not, you know, treat myself to a brand new book? <laughs> so yeah, and like I was obsessing over my emails, seeing when they were going to ship it and when I was going to get it. I even saw the UPS guy and I'm, yeah, I was just looking out my window, <laughs> seeing when, <laughs> when he would come yeah um so yeah here's my new book but the third negative i have about this box so, okay okay l look at this look at this disgusting plain old bookmark disgusting atrocious every month they give these plain as frick bookmarks where is my 16 dollars going to book of the month <laughs> I'm kidding. I get it. You know, new release. This is a, a debut author. So, like, I get it. Those are pricier, especially brand new. I'm just a brat that's been used to getting books secondhand. So, or like gifted or just cheap in general. So, uh, but the thing that's nice about this box, which I'll give it to them, is just that, you know, just the feeling of getting a brand new book. You can skip months. It's just that you can't forget. And I am a forgetful person. So, um, as a book lover, I do love this box. Um, but I do not recommend it if you're not in the situation to be getting brand new books, you know? Like, you can skip it, but uh, like I said, especially if you don't like making phone calls like I do. I mean, I don't like making phone calls. Then, no, do not recommend. But this is what inspired me, actually. So, uh, book of the month. Uh, 
I really hate the fact that these are the boring bookmarks we get, but I'm going to decorate this. Oh yeah, and it's going to be alien themed because this book is about aliens. Uh, aliens come and invade Earth and um, uh, I'm not really good at explaining books. I, I'm only 41 pages in, uh, but the, the premise of it is aliens come and invade Earth. And humans being very hostile, obviously, <laughs> um, they attack the aliens. And um, the aliens t take this attack as meaning that human emotion is very volatile. Like, we're dangerous because we're emotional. Like, so emotions become illegal. Books, be uh, books music, art, everything that I love becomes illegal along with emotions. So this is about... Uh, a girl that's trying to survive through this world where you can't show any type of emotion or or have any type of hu human uh, hobbies and an alien who becomes infatuated with certain human things like um pop music <laughs> and books but yeah um it I, it was so up my alley it's a beautiful book i love it and I just, I just had to do it because, you know, freaking love aliens. So yeah, with this out of the way, let's get started. Well, 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 take two of this freaking voice recording because, um, you will not believe this, but the original file completely erased itself. <laughs> Mostly because um, I didn't have enough space on my phone to save the video with the voice recording on my editing software. And so I went to make more space on my phone by, you know, deleting pictures and extra video clips that I was using for my editing. And when I came back to the editing software, it was like, uh, original file does not exist. Please try again. And um, the soul crushing feeling of having an entire voice recording erased is a uh, one that I did not want to imagine because man I, I really did like the original voice recording but you know what I will not let this drag me down because um, that means I can feel more comfortable with uh, you know speaking out loud and and now I know where I want my voice recording to go my voiceover I mean I mean, I'm still kind of upsetty spaghetti that all that time has gone down the drain, but, you know, I guess I can think of it as a practice run rather than a disappointing failure that burns me inside. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess I have to start all over again, which is A-OK, -okay, because now I can uh, start off how I guess I want to, you know, just differently. Anyway, the inspiration behind this uh, whole video was mostly my love for books when I was younger. Now, let me just say, I was really obsessive as a kid. Like, before there was my infatuation with drawing, there was my infatuation with books. So much so that I would sometimes get in trouble as a kid when I would come to the table with a stack of books um, about to eat, my mom would have to scold me, because she's like, you're about to eat, what are you doing with books at the table? Like, me and my older sister, we would get in trouble <laughs> for reading, because we would read so much. Like, I wasn't the only one obsessed, and my older sister was pretty obsessed too. Um, I would also read at nighttime with my little flashlight, <laughs> and my mom would, you know, check in, and I'd have to turn off my flashlight, because, you know, I don't want to get in trouble <laughs> for freaking reading in the middle of the night when I was supposed to be asleep at 9 o'clock for school. But yeah, that's how far I took my reading obsessions. I would eat and read, and I would sleep and read. And sometimes I'd sleep on top of my books, which, so... Uh, I would also get in trouble because my mom would come in and she'd like she'll see me sleeping on top of a book and she'll know that I spent the night reading when I should have been asleep. Because how else could you explain me using a book as a pillow? Um, there was also the times when in my middle school I'd freaking uh, 
check out a crap ton of books from the library. Like, it was so much so that, you know, the librarian, she knew who I was, and I'd check out a lot of books at a time. There was even one time near the end of the year where I checked out a total of 72 books from the library. And at the time, we had a a new librarian come in to help out the older librarian, because, you know, she was getting pretty old, and I guess when you're an older librarian, you need the help of a younger librarian, you know, to shelve the books and just help around in general. So I come up with my 72 books, um, because I'm trying to remember how I got 72 books on that counter, but I did it. (laughs) And she's just looking at me with this look on her face, you know, the look of, oh my god, I'm dealing with a crazy person. And, (laughs) um, I just, you know, look at her expectantly, uh, waiting for her to check out my books, and she just looks at me and she's like, you can't check out this amount of books. And I was completely taken aback, because I'm like, what? I've always done this. Like, there is no rule that says I cannot check out this many books. Like, I didn't say that to her, because, you know, I was extremely shy, and I wasn't about to talk back like that to an adult. Um, But luckily, the older librarian was there. And she knew me, like most librarians as a kid knew me, no matter if it was the public library, the school library, they knew me because I was always there. And anyways, uh, she saw the stack of books and she was just like, oh no, let her check them out. She, she'll she uh, return them and she always reads them. It's fine. And, and oh, bless that librarian. She was so nice. Um, And the new librarian just kind of looks at her and just like, you know, why? <laughs> Just like, are we really letting this freaking kid check out this many books? Like, like, impossible. <laughs> um, but, you know, she just looked at the librarian, she was like, yeah, go ahead, and she was like, alright. And that's how I went out with 72 books. And I read them all. And I returned them all, except for one, because my best friend at the time, uh, she had checked out a book under my name, because, you know, she was also obsessed with books at that time. And uh, she didn't return it. She couldn't find it. She lost it. But to her credit, she did, um, because uh, they had the system at the library where if you lost a book, as long as you gave them two books to make up for the one book loss, you didn't get fined, which was actually a really nice system. I mean, I guess it cheats you out of your own books, cause, like two books for the price of one. But I think that's a lot better than actually paying money for the books, because I know uh, brand new books can be pretty expensive, so, you know, $16 a freaking book, (laughs) um, but yeah, those are, those are fun memories of my book shenanigans, so I guess this kind of shows a little bit of my obsession, I mean, there's still more from that same year, because my fifth grade year was spent in a middle school, uh, because this was the time where We still had a middle school that existed until my sixth grade year where it was, um, the middle school was being shut down. So it it was a whole crazy thing because they were like, oh, they're shutting down the middle school and they're sending all the middle schoolers back to elementary school. A lot of people were angry. Mostly kids were angry because who wants to go back to an elementary school when you just got out of there? You know, we even had our own little ceremony uh, leaving the elementary school. So to go back in there was kind of sad, (laughs) um, but yeah, we, that was good news for me in a way, because at the time as of a little kid, I had a collection of 300 books or more, mostly due to the fact that my middle school got shut down, (laughs) I swear, I did, I had nothing to do with the fact that the library gave away all their books, um, had nothing to do with the school shutting down, I was that, I wasn't that crazy, but my collection of books expanded by a lot because of the freaking library being shut down, along with, you know, the school. Um, and yeah, along with being a book nerd, I was also kind of like a collector of things. Like, I, I was obsessed with two things at the time as a kid. One was books. Two, it was collecting. I collected every Beanie Babies rocks, uh, freaking, what else did I collect? Littlest Pet Shops. Um, 
I, I had more collections, but I'm trying to remember. Um, well, books, obviously. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to prove that I, <laughs> I was crazy about collecting and crazy about books. So you mix the two together, that meant I collected books. <laughs> um, and yeah, I no longer have the books because, um, when we moved to a smaller house, my mom and my sister gave away the books behind my back, mostly because they knew that I was gonna protest and I was most likely gonna want to keep every single book. So, um, yeah, they donated a lot of books, which, to my older sister's credit, because she was mostly the one that donated the books, I'll give her the credit that she, uh, left my Goosebumps book, which I am super happy because that was, I had a book collection, and I also had series collections, so, had the Goosebumps books, the Babysitter's Club, um, crap, uh, the Candy Apple books, I don't know if anyone remembers those, if you remember those, Oh my god, please let me know, because I can't be the only one that remembers these. Like, I know I'm not, so it, it would be really cool to know if anyone out there actually remembers these books. Um, Geronimo Stilton. So yeah, I had collections within collections. And oh my god, it, it was amazing. But I no longer have the books, sadly. I mean, I'm building up my collection again. I don't have 300 books, but, um, I have a decent sized collection. Um, I'll have to check how many books I actually have. I know it's nowhere near 300, but it has to be something. Anyways, uh, I, I'm talking about all my love for books, but I gotta mention the weirdest part of my childhood, well, as a fifth grader. Um, I read a lot of weird books outside of, you know, regular middle school, uh, books. And, um, one series that I really loved to read was Coping With, insert problem here, <sighs> just remembering those books. My favorite one was called Coping With Substance Abuse. <laughs> oh my god, that's so stupid. Um, Coping With Stigma, Coping With Rejection. I had a whole collection of those too, um, once the library was giving away books. Um, my sister... Uh, would make fun of me for <laughs> because I had the coping with rejection books, <laughs> and she was just like, "What the? Uh, do you need some help? There is something going on in school." <laughs> and I would be like, "No, I just like my books." And the librarian must have thought there was so many things wrong with me when I would check out those books. Oh my god, I'm just thinking about it now. I'm surprised she didn't call anyone on me because, I mean, what what do you think? When a fifth grader is checking out a book called Coping with Substance Abuse. Oh my god. Oh well, I, I freaking love that book. Um, it, it's so weird too. Um, because what kind of fifth grader reads those types of books? But yeah, that's just because I was obsessed with reading and I wanted to know everything. Like, I was obsessed with information at the time. Like, just knowing stuff. Just wanting to read everything that was printed. I'm no longer like that now. Now I have my preferences of what I like to read and what I don't. But back then, I just I just wanted to read everything I got my hands on. And when my library was giving out books, I took everything home. Okay, I was they had whole tables of books just laying out for you to take. And I went there every day with my twenty dollar Walmart bag. It was those um it was a messenger bag, and it was of a cat. So it's just like uh. The whole messenger bag was shaped like a cat, and the flap was connected through a, a magnetic clasp to make the cat's face. Anyways, it was a pretty small bag, meant for, you know, regular stuff like notebooks, pencils, you know, school stuff. Um, I would shove as many books in there as I could, like 20 to 30 books if I could. Uh, 20 on a bad day, 30 on a good day. <laughs> and um, I would shove them in there. I, I swear, my left arm must have gotten, well, my left shoulder must have gotten so jacked from freaking walking home, because I had to walk home, and it was like an hour and 20 minutes to my house, including the hill and, uh, freaking, it, it was a long walk, and very tiring, I would come home exhausted, but super happy, because I was collecting my precious books, <laughs> I was so crazy as a kid, like, oh my god, just remembering, and 
and yeah, that's how I built my empire of books, and I didn't get to read them all. That's what makes me sad, and that's why I'm just like, I should probably read more of the books on my shelves, because what kind of lunatic am I that I had 300 books and I didn't read them all, and now I'm just thinking about all the books that I didn't read, <laughs> and also thinking about my favorite books that were given away, R.I.P., my my pirate book, my treasure island book, <laughs> And um, my Heidi book. Man, so many books that I really miss. But it's okay, because at least I have my Goosebumps books. Um, But yeah, these were my crazy adventures as a little kid. I mean, I think I have more book, uh, book adventures and all that. But honestly, this voiceover part is about to end really soon. So I should probably mention the YouTubers that also kind of inspired this video um well one of them didn't inspire the video but i did listen to his uh his video while i was drawing so i should probably mention him too but first i gotta mention kate file i think is her name um she's a booktuber you know because there's a whole side of youtube that is dedicated to just books which is amazing and it feeds into my obsession and she's the one that you know i subscribe to book of the month for because um booktubers who are affiliated with book of the month they get you know i think they get paid or they get a free book every time someone uses a referral code and i like supporting her because i watch all of her videos pretty much and um yeah she's really cool if you want to check her out i highly suggest you do if you're interested in books or just want to you know get into a whole new genre of youtube videos um because there's a lot of amazing booktubers and i really recommend all of them <laughs> Um, and the guy that I listened to while I was drawing was a guy called Peter Draws. He has fantastic art that is more out of this world than an alien. And I highly suggest his video, The Metamorphosis. It is like uh, where he reads the book called A Metamorphosis. The Metamorphosis, I mean. And oh my god, I was so invested in that story. And it like, oh my god, that story was just fantastic. And I've got to find a physical copy. But anyway, um, check him out, check her out, because this voiceover part is about to end. And, ah, oh jeez, I'm running out of time. Anyways, uh, see you guys later. Check out the YouTubers. Hope you had fun. Good All right, and we are finally done. Oh man, through the camera, it kind of desaturates the colors, but in person, I freaking love my bookmark. Like... <laughs> It's gonna be so cool freaking reading and having this staring back at me. Uh, but there's one final step that kind of scares me when it comes to my bookmark. Um, I don't have sealant, which is the stuff that you spray on your drawings so that uh, all this pencil dust doesn't scrape off onto my paper while I'm reading. Because the last thing I want is for my brand new book to have freaking pencil dust all over it so since I don't have sealant and I don't want to risk using water to seal all this in because um I used ink and it might bleed so no thanks I have to uh, find a different alternative which is packing tape <laughs> which wow what a great idea uh, not really. Oh wait, is it in focus? I can't tell. There we go. Um, well, I'm gonna try. Uh, I might end up ruining this bookmark, which I will cry if I do. <laughs> but, um, yeah. You guys get to skip the messy, loud part of, uh, getting the tape off and on. Uh, but for me, this is probably gonna take a while. So yeah, you guys... Just, just hang in there for a second, and I'll be right back. Oh yeah, guess who's freaking done? It's me. Um, this was actually very, very painstaking, because um, I had to first switch off tape, because this disgusting roll of tape is, um, it's kind of like dirty, but like, there's no dirt. It's just, I don't know. I feel like the years of having this packing tape 
this cheap packing tape <laughs> um, just made it dusty on the inside or something. Like every time you peel off a bit, it's just it's just an ugly piece of tape that should not be used unless you're packing boxes. So yeah, I had to switch to this heavy duty <laughs> Scott shipping tape. So um, thank you, Scott's tape. <laughs> it wasn't as dirty. It wasn't actually dirty at all. It was very clear tape. But still, I was very worried that this would come off, you know, horrendous. I mean, there was a point right here where it got stuck in the wrong place and I almost died because, holy crap, I did not work so long on this bookmark that I actually really like just to ruin it with some scotch shipping tape. Um, but yeah, I'm really proud of my freaking bookmark. And I think I did pass me a service. Because this is what I imagined it to be. And here it is. <laughs> I'm so happy. It's like, so yeah, I have been working on this for so long. And this is actually something that I will forever want. <laughs> because aliens on a bookmark, amazing. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure future me might actually improve on making these bookmarks. Because I do plan on making more of these. This was super fun. Like, I had never imagined that I'd be having this much fun decorating bookmarks. <laughs> I mean, I used to do it as a kid. But doing it again with like... A lot more improvement on art skill and it, it just it's a nice feeling so yeah oh wait let me bring up the book so here they are my book and my bookmark together at last completely finished oh man this is gonna be awesome to read with cuz um I, I love bookmarks and I love books and having my own personal bookmark it's freaking amazing um, so yeah, my next project will probably be in a month because with bookmarks because, come on, it's book of the month. <laughs> I can't make this a weekly thing. It has to be monthly. And um, I don't plan on buying more books just to buy books for this project. I mean, this will be whenever I feel like making, you know, getting a book and making a bookmark for it. Um, but luckily for both you and me, <laughs> if you're interested, um, I actually do have another book because this was my second book of the month. I have a different book that I plan on doing for another month. It would have been best suited for January, but what the heck, who cares? So here's a sneak peek at the next bookmark I'll be working on, as you can see. It's a blue bookmark. Freaking plain old bookmark. Disgusting. <laughs> but yeah, this will be the next book I am decorating for another video. And that's a promise because this was super fun. <laughs> uh, like like I said, it would have been best suited for January. But um, as you know, I suck. <laughs> so yeah, I might do this in March, April, May. Depending because like I said, this isn't going to be a monthly thing because um, these books are expensive. <laughs> And I am not about to fill my bookshelf with b more books than I can read because I have a bunch of books that I haven't read. So, um, yeah, gotta be conscious about how much you're spending and whether it's worth it. Because, I mean, I love decorating bookmarks, but, you know, it, it, I'm not gonna freaking spend so much money on this, on these videos. <laughs> Some money, but not all of it. <laughs> Anyways, this was super fun. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know, yay! <laughs> I did what I wanted to do while making other people enjoy it. That is an accomplishment. So yeah, um, until next time, my dudes. Maybe leave some suggestions of future videos, because um, this was super fun. But uh, my brain isn't big enough to provide all the entertainment. <laughs> if this is entertaining at all. <laughs> so yeah. Um, until next time, my dudes, hope you have a good week, a good day, and a good month. Goodbye.